Please be advised, this podcast is all nonsense. Nothing you hear or see while adventuring with the worm should be taken seriously, or more importantly, fact-checked. Try not to let the mispronunciations distract you from the knowledge being shared. You're just riding with two worms trying to have a good time. Do you think we can start converting the worm craft to either some sort of like biofuel, electric, or solar power? I just think we use a lot of coal. Yeah. <laughs> and it's you, hard you know, to find you know, coal. You, in the, space. The, the, yeah, the odd thing is, obviously, there's been like advancements, and so we could have used like rocket fuel, petrol, but we just stuck with coal for so long. It's because you, we can carry coal around in bags. Fuel, petrol, we can't. We can't have a plastic bag full of petrol. Yeah, but you can have jerry cans of petrol. Yeah, like, but Jerry, that... Jerry always wants his cans back. <laughs> I also think they're probably more flam- flammable than coal. Definitely. Coal takes some time to heat up. If you can't put out your coal <laughs> quickly enough, it's on you. But biofuel would be a good one. Or solar power. Isn't biofuel just diesel? Mm, yeah. Okay, how about we create a fuel from rubbish or bio- uh, organic fuel? So we just use all, like our banana skins. That we leave, that we leave on the floor to sleep each other up. Well, we no, we don't leave them in in space. You know, like we we have that prank with each other. Who's gonna crack their head open first? (laughs) Who's gonna die first from brain head injuries? (laughs) Yeah, from brain damage. And I just thought, rather than putting them all over the ship, because there's quite a few here, and they're getting a bit rotten. We could just use that. How many banana skins do we need to make fuel? I don't know. We've we've I've not. Because we have three banana skins at the moment. That's good. You get really angry and throw them out rather than just piling them where I've been piling them. I don't, I don't know how much fuel we're going to get for free banana skins. So why don't we do solar? Well, we could keep coal as a backup, but why don't we do solar power? Cause then... Do all suns give out the same qualities that our yellow sun does? Nope. And this yellow sun. No, so we'd have to always come back to the, the Milky Way to charge up. Unless we have like an adapter. That allows yeah, us to... then we've got to get out and change the, the panels. No, we'll, we'll, dude, we're smart. We'll be able to do it from here. Have a button that just flips the panels. <laughs> then how many? What shape are these panels going to be? Well, I think like eight hundred sides. What's that twenty-sided die called? Um, don't know. It might be a dodecahedron. Maybe that's more than twenty. No, that's twelve. That is, isn't it? No, actually, decahedrons ten. Dodecahedrons twelve. You should know. You play with these twenty-sided dies all the time. A screwball. <laughs> screwball. That's round, and we know that's close. <laughs> um, yeah, I think. Probably not a 20. We could probably do a dodecahedron. We could do a 12-sided sort of solar ball that just rotates. Or a bunch of them. How them many sides has a disco ball got? Depends how many discs you got on it. Also, not how, how big... Because it's all good having a rotating thing, but how big does the panel have to be to charge the ship? I guess we've got to decide how much energy it takes for our ship to move. Get out your calculator. We've got a lot of coal on here to move. Oh, Who's, who knows a lot about rockets? NASA. Alton John. Oh, yeah. He is the rocket man. He is the rocket man. Mm. Buzz Lightyear. I don't think he knows about rockets. I think he knows about space travel. Because he's no, a galactic There's space a Buzz Lightyear ranger. film coming out. We'll find out then. Ooh. Standalone, isn't he? He's got, his own, he's got his own film. Who else knows about rockets? You know who know a lot about jumping a lot? The Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, they never they never made it into orbit. Yeah, but what they, they have managed to do is, have you seen the height they get on this car? Yeah, that's a good point. Off like barely even a ramp. They are clearly finding a way to convert the little amount of energy that's going in it to bring out a large amount of energy. We just need to ask them what their conversion formula is. I know what it is. Boots. Because <laughs> that boots made for walking. Uh, yeah, who else has a... Who else knows about rockets? Elton John's definitely a good shout though. Hmm. Nicholas Cage from The Rock. Does he know about rockets? Oh no, he was a biochemist. Doctor Evil knows about rockets. He does, but they're never any good. Yeah, but he knows a little bit. Hmm. I definitely use him as a consultant, but I wouldn't bring him on board for the project. Like physically on board this. He'd try to if we send Mini Me down the pipes from <laughs> steal our rocket away from yeah, us. But sometimes you need a little guy to get into those little cracks. Yeah, but we're worms and you know we can like literally get in anywhere. Yes, but we've got no hands. <laughs> It doesn't matter. I'm not putting mini me, not evil mini me either. Hmm. I've got to send like a a trustworthy small guy, like Warwick Davis. 
Yeah, he's a proper trustworthy guy. He is. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. I don't think he knows much about rockets, though. Yeah, but he can... I mean, he's an actor. He can read instructions. You just got to make sure he can read them and understand what they mean. That's true. Maybe we can enhance our ability to speak to spiders and send those down. The pipers. The pipers? The pipers. The pipers? The pipers? pipers? Well, what are they going to do? Well, if they understand what we want them to do, because we can speak to spiders, then they can work as a team. Yeah, but to do what? I don't think there's many things a spider can accomplish. In mechanics. I, th- I think that's unfair. I don't think it's unfair. No, I think they probably are quite smart in mechanics, but people just don't let them pick up the bolts and the nuts and the, the mechanisms. <laughs> so, uh, there's a spider in here. Get chased out, don't they? Oh, it's just trying to put a formula on the board for you to understand <laughs> your rocket. See, if we listen to them, maybe they, maybe they know the conversion formula. Okay, I'll give the spiders a go, but they've got one chance. That's fair. We don't have time to mess around. No, time they don't get around. it first time round. Then they're clearly, we're just guessing. Yeah, I think... Um, because solar's cheap. Once it's set up, even if we run low, we've got the coal. But we, I think we should have like a third source as well. Like ketchup. Mustard. It's got a lot of sugar in it as well. Yeah, that's true. What produces a lot of energy? Uranium. <laughs> I don't think that's a safe bet. <laughs> I'm t- I'm no, but we'll put it right at the back of the ship. It's fine. So if it pops off, it just is behind us anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it uranium-235 that you need, or 237? It's like WD-40. <laughs> <laughs> the num- <laughs> we could just use WD-40. <laughs> Hydrogen. About it. That's like the word. <laughs> just helium. Burn, burn much. Burn for much energy. Yeah, but if we had helium on board, we are not using it for that. We are using it for funny voices, you yeah, know Yeah, but I'm thinking we could claim that we're starting an entertainment business yeah and get a loan an enter- yeah. a business loan to buy the fuel because we're buying helium for yeah. an entertainment business and then we won't we won't have to pay for it i don't know how, if i feel comfortable with lying <laughs> to the banks i'll lie to the banks no to the helium company oh no, no the helium company we'll, we'll get them in on it they're getting paid they don't care mm, yeah but then obviously oh uh, yeah maybe because they would have had to check our credentials we're gonna have to get registered and everything on a registered company. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I don't think you know how Brian Helium works. <laughs> Look, we don't see your name on the register. <laughs> what are you using this helium for? Uh, nothing. It's not to take an invent company for adults. You can get um, hydrogen buses and stuff like that. Do they just like basically run on water, essentially? <clears throat> I thought they were, yeah, they're, they're hydrogen cells, so it's a battery. So we could just do that? Okay. Do that. And then we could have the sun charge... Oh, no, because that's essential solar power, is it? Just charging batteries. Why don't we get a windmill? It's no wind in space. <laughs> no, I think it just look cool. <laughs> okay. We, yeah, we can get one, but that's also extra weight. That now has solar energy. <laughs> yeah, there. but in space we don't weigh anything. So it only matters when we, we duck. Which also means that we'd need very, very little energy because we just use the thrusters. So maybe we'll just get like like pipettes and we'll just pipette our way everywhere. <laughs> Wouldn't even need that. I mean, like maybe just a loud burp. Yeah. <laughs> just get some Vimto on board. <laughs> You're going too fast. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's definitely worth improving. I'm just worried about when the coal runs out. We didn't think forward. We didn't forward think. We didn't never forward think. I mean, you were trying to put the uranium at the back. You instantly backwards thinking. Exactly. No, that's not thinking. We need to. We actually need to think about this because when the coal runs out, we ain't going to be able to do any adventures. The adventures will be how to get the ship going <laughs> every single episode. <laughs> we'll have no questions because no one's going to be able to send them to us. <laughs> Clearly, that's where they're coming from. So we'd have to. Uh, I think we just have to. Oh, look at yeah, your brain's going yeah, now. Thinking. Scared from the lack of coal. Exactly. I'm thinking solar power's not a bad way to go. How much energy do you get off burning a body? It would help with all the dead bodies you've got. Yeah. Um, I reckon probably quite a lot, but it's probably um, because there's so many elements to... What sort of body are we talking? Like a body of water, or are you talking a human body? Yeah, a human body. <laughs> just checking, because I'm only going around down a dark path here. And you're like, no, I just meant like a body of water. <laughs> okay, so did I. Um, yeah, I think... The problem is there's so many different components to it. It's going to be like it's going to be like a fossil fuel, isn't it? Yeah. Which is just coal. But coal's more compact because over time it's it's so 
It'd probably be like one coal briquette <laughs> from a, a full body. Mm-hmm. Maybe two or three. Maybe. So I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. It's a lot of effort to go get bodies. We'd have to keep paying the morgue. Does anybody, is anybody going to re- exhume this body? Probably not. Can we have it? And you can just put rocks no, that's in what it. I think people have bodies cremated all the time, so we could just... Cremate? Oh, we could start our own cremation yeah. business. And it's actually fueling our, our ship. Because we could sell it as like an... And ex- we can still a, give them the ashes back. An exotic space funeral. They wouldn't know that they're just being put into a furnace to <laughs> fuel our adventures. No, but in fairness, the, the energy would come out and we'd still use it. We'd still have ash left over. Yeah. So we could give them like maybe a, a teaspoon of ash. <laughs> The burn real small. How many dead bodies have you been? That's how much you get normally. <laughs> nah, I think I, I'm not. I just don't think I wanted to smell. I've heard the smell of burning a, a body is quite horrific. Is that just from the hair though? Because I'm, I'm, sha- I'm not shaving a body. <laughs> you just gone too far. Then. I'm not going to sit there and shave a body. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've just got an image of having to shave a body and then realising I should have just got a big trimmer rather than one razor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've done his ankle. Okay, that's fair. No, I'm not doing it's that. A lot, it's a big commitment. It is. Our, our lives would become shaving, shaving cadavers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And we'd have to start buying so much shaving cream and razors for this. I don't, mean, I don't mean you need shaving cream because we're not worried about giving them razor burn. No, but it's smoother. It's easier to get through. You can actually do a longer piece of shaving cream. Okay. Because it, it, it smooths the path for you. Whereas if you do it without, you only can do like a centimetre at a time. We'll be here for weeks. How many bodies have you done? I've done a leg. <laughs> yeah. Whose leg? My own, actually. <laughs> no, I don't know my legs. Um, yeah, so I think Solar Power's a good show. I've heard it's meant to be pretty good. We just have to find out the type of energy that is released from other suns. If it's dead bodies, as well. <laughs> In a black hole, mm-hmm. there's nothing, is there? No energy, nothing, no light. Depends which black hole you go to. There's that club, the black hole, that we go to. <laughs> yeah, we go to that. There's loads of energy in there. Yeah. It's probably because they're free sun drugs. <laughs> I mean, we only go there because... Um, you can often pick up a few dead bodies at the end of the night. Yeah, <laughs> it's not called a black hole for nothing. But um, no, I meant actual black holes. What about dark matter? Yeah, I mean that's, that's meant to be like full of energy, isn't yeah, it's, it? It's, it's concentrated energy. So if we could go and get some dark matter, we could probably just get like a, a small piece, and it'll probably power the ship for at least a thousand years. How do we burn it? We might have to go learn about dark matter because I don't actually know how to use it <laughs> we could have some and just not know <laughs> yeah, actually I was wondering what those things were at the back of the ship I thought it was you trying to install some uranium <laughs> yeah I think it'd be a good idea to think about that hello I just realised we didn't say hello and I felt bad oh, yeah. yeah so we'll say hello now and then we'll put that at the beginning we won't but no no no, no. you've got to listen long enough to get your greeting should we uh, do a question? Yeah, I think we should. Okay, I'm feeling. <laughs> is vivacious the right word? Yeah, it can be. So? If you feel vivacious, then it's the right word. Then, then I'm feeling vivacious. What kind of tree would you be if you were one? And why? Hmm. Don't know if I'd want to go just like a. It's like a generic mainland tree. See, so three come to mind straight away. Go on, then hit me with your rhythm stick. Palm tree. Ooh. But. I, okay, go on. Palm tree? Conifer tree. Yep. And then, like, uh, an elm. Okay. Why for those? All right. That's the first one. I don't know why. Those are the first ones that came into my head. Well, I'm going to say you wouldn't want to be a palm tree because you hate the sun and you hate the heat and you don't like heat. You like being cold and wrapped in a blanket. Like, swaddled even. That's true. (laughs) So I'm going to say palm palm tree straight out. Unless you want to be a palm tree in, like, a cold country just to confuse people. I think you, you get palm trees in other countries. Don't oh you? no, yeah, but I mean, you, you don't tend to get them in cold countries because they don't last very long. Because they need heat to, like, they thrive off. Heat Can't just be a palm tree of a blanket. <laughs> well, this is what I'm saying. You could just be a palm tree, but in like Norway. Yeah. <laughs> so are you saying you want to be like a palm tree out of, like, just out of nowhere, so people can well, visit just, the it, one palm tree in Norway? It just says what kind of tree would I be and why. Didn't that have to be rooted somewhere? Yeah, but you didn't say why either. 
Uh, uh, then no, I hadn't con- I okay, con- got that, that far. far. Yeah. I just got the, okay. my, the first trees that came to my head. Conifer. See, I didn't know if I would want to be um, a redwood cedar. <sighs> the big boys. Yeah. But then again, I would want to be a redwood cedar in like just in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> like in some park. <laughs> just like in the middle of, in middle of anywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, that kind of came to mind. Like a like a redwood cedar because they're just huge. I'd be the king of the trees. Yeah. What other trees are there? There's lots. Don't know any of them. Um, oak trees are quite. Yeah, oaks. The old oaks. Redwood cedars are the trees that like live the longest, aren't they? I've, they definitely get the biggest. Yeah, so yeah. I assume they live the longest. Yeah, you would assume so, but it they might just grow quick. Nah, I think they grow slow. Oh, okay. Redwood cedars probably. Hmm. It's probably realistic as well because we live forever. So, what's a coconut tree called? Just a coconut tree, or is that a palm tree? Maybe a palm tree. Hmm. Bananas grow on trees, don't they? Yeah, they do. Pineapples don't. I thought they did. No, they don't. They grow up, don't they? Yeah, they, grow. Yeah, they look really weird. See, now I'm thinking maybe I'd um, maybe I'd choose like a a, a tree that bears fruit. What about like a little bonsai tree? Oh, I could see the world that way. Yeah. Because people just carry me around. Yeah. Live in the pocket of Mr. Miyagi. I reckon I might go for like a little bonsai sakura. What other little trees are there? I think you can bonsai any tree. I think it's just, it's an art form, isn't it? Not any tree. No, I think you can. I think if you get it right and you... <laughs> You're just going to say, take a red one cedar and just keep trimming it. Yeah. <laughs> Until it's just... I, I think, honestly, I think bonsai is just the art of, of, of trimming. I think you can bonsai any tree. Nah, but surely they're... Oh, so you think the word bonsai is like the art of trimming a tree? Yeah, yeah. You sure? Uh, well, we'll, we'll woogle it. Wool term. Oh, it just means planted ah, in a container. Bonsai means... Oh, so technically any tree can be a bonsai tree, just has to be planted. So you're yeah. right, just for the wrong reasons. So yeah, the ultimate goal is to create a miniaturised but realistic representation of nature in the form of a tree. Oh. Could it be a mini redwood? In fact, any tree species can be used to grow one. Yeah, it's just a case of keeping in the thing and trimming it. Okay, I want to be a bonsai tree, but I want to be a redwood bonsai tree. Ooh. There's quite some big ones there. You can get like a 16-inch bonsai tree and imperial. Oh, those are the size classifications. Yeah, so the, this, these are the, the grades. I'd be an imperial bonsai tree. I quite like the, the Keshitsubo, the one to three <laughs> The one to three inch, a little, little mini boy. <laughs> Could you imagine us next to each other? So you're going to be a, a one to three inch palm tree. <laughs> With the world's smallest coconuts. Now, do you know what? I reckon I'd go a size up. I'd go to the Shito for the two to four. I reckon that's a nice size. For a palm tree? Yeah. And I think you could... That, that's what? That? Yeah, it's that much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's... Yeah. yeah but that'd be, and you'd have, like, the world's smallest little coconuts. Yeah. Which has just got me in stitches up No there, normal size coconuts. <laughs> yeah, well, <I'm, laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> They're bigger than the pot. <laughs> that's a good point. Does it Im- impact the size of the fruit that grows? Oh, I suppose it would have yeah. to, yeah. Good yeah. nutrition. Yeah. It's in a plant pot as well, so it's not exactly getting loads of water. I just want, I just want to grow one regular size coconut. You wouldn't be able to. Don't tell me what I can do. <laughs> I think I'd want to be a 60 to 80 inch redwood. Because you can't be a redwood and not be tall. Yeah, so if you're the tallest yeah. of the bonsais. Okay. But then it again it goes against the fact that I want to be something that bears fruit. The classifications are based on the number of men it needed to lift the actual tree. Ooh. That's not fair because all, all men can lift different amounts. These were clones. I said it. Do you reckon it was just a bunch of tree guys trying to lift a tree? And they're like, look, get some more tree guys in. Maybe. Maybe they should be more specific that it's tree guys. <laughs> tree guys. Three guys. Tree guys. Yeah, I think I'd definitely be a bonsai. Maybe a bonsai... Um... Christmas tree. Yeah, like a little Christmas tree. Nah, don't like Christmas. <laughs> yeah, but I got no beef with the trees. Yeah, that's true. You'd be green all year as well. well. Actually, you're in a pot, so you'd technically be green all year. Maybe anyway. Depends where they put you. It's true. Or you'd be travelling the world and yeah, my, my little shito, little two to four incher, then yeah, I could be popped anywhere. Well, I'm 60 to 80 inches <laughs> and I can still be popped anywhere because I demand it because <laughs> I'm an imperial tree. <laughs> yeah, the only thing with being a redwood is I don't like the idea of not bearing fruit. I want to bear some fruit. I want to bear fruit. 
what trees do bear fruit? That's grow? the biggest fruit bearing tree. Should, would it be an apple tree? Because it's apple trees oh, get pretty big. Yeah, but also I think it's the amount of apples that they grow as well. Orange trees. So you're thinking those. volume rather than yeah, because they can go around the world feeding the world. You're only one co- coconut at a time. If I'm 60 to 80 inches tall, I can at least get two. <laughs> on a good day, on a good growing year. How do you think you're getting the stop on growing any bigger? Do you have to just keep trimming? You keep trimming it? them, yeah. That's the that's, that's the really art. Sad though, isn't it? You're just this little tree wanting to be like. I want to be six inches tall. No, you're four. You're a she tall. Change my mind. I want to be a little four inch banana tree with the little 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 tiny bananas. Oh man, you can use them as frisbees. Not frisbees, boomerangs. <laughs> could do yeah you know? i think that's what i'd be a little tiny banana tree hmm, i'm trying to think what what stuff grows on trees the nuts grow on trees some nuts yeah like coconuts <laughs> yeah those are nuts yeah Con- well uh chestnuts <gasps> oh chestnut trees get pretty big oh it might be a chestnut tree because i've like conkers all year round yeah and then actually yeah because then at christmas yeah oh, my bank <laughs> yeah <laughs> quids in aren't i yeah I'll just be like, oh, you know what? I grow my own chestnuts, and if someone's if someone carry me around, they just go around selling chestnuts. And as long as they go to, oh, man, that's it, chestnut tree, chestnut tree, because you can backpack chestnuts, can't you? And they can last quite a while. I think yeah, that, I don't think you mean to backpack them. I think because they're quite a dry nut fruit thing. Nah, because they can dry out inside the shell. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, a lot of people use that type of chestnut anyway, and they're doing stuff in. They do rather than having to crack every chestnut, take it all out, and soak it. Is that a walnut? Does that grow a tree? I think it does. Mm. I do like walnuts, but I think it's a lot of effort. Are walnuts the ones that grow in a nutcracker? That's a monkey nut or a peanut. No, that's that's a peanut. Yeah. No, but you get the... That's like a soft shell, sort of like a figure eight. Oh, yeah, so that walnuts are in quite a hard shell. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the, old, the one if you hit on someone on the head, they'll probably get bumped. That would die. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're probably not from the height of the tree. So you saw a safety conscious tree as well? Because if you get hit in the head by a conker by a really tall chestnut, that's... Little, Especially if you've still got the spiky bits of stuff. Little sheeta, you're not going to notice it. Yeah, I think maybe maybe chestnut tree. Yeah. I would kind of think walnut, but again, the work's there, isn't it? Like, you've got to crack the... Got to crack them nuts. Yeah. Whereas I think yeah. you can probably, if you really wanted to, you could crack through a chestnut with your teeth. I mean... It's a risky bit. It's a risky game. I'm yeah, I'm lie. saying if you really wanted to. Like, I think I'd go. What is the proper term for a banana tree? Surely it's not a banana tree. Yellow fruit tree. Yellow fruit tree. Yeah, I'll be a tiny yellow fruit tree. What's the proper name for a chestnut tree? I don't know. Eh? Spiky green ball tree. <laughs> With a hidden the kinder the kinder tree because you got a spiky green ball on the inside. You got a surprise. The surprise is a chestnut, which is in every single one, but you just don't know until you open it. Sometimes it could be some sand. If yeah. someone's taken out the chestnut and put sand there. Sometimes it might be a, a rotten chestnut. Could be. Sometimes it might not. It might be, you know you get those double chestnuts. Sometimes you open them and it's got Ooh, two. Oh, yeah. Like a double yoga. In the old fat sacks. <laughs> yeah. I want to be an egg tree. I know it doesn't exist. Ooh. Oh, no. I was going to say aubergines, but they're growing plants. Yeah, they're, they're, they're plants. Can I be a tree that doesn't exist? Yeah. I really want to be an egg tree. Imagine fresh eggs every mor- every morning because your eggs are on your tree. I want to be that tree from Return to Oz that had jam jars on it. Oh, that's a good show. How about the one in Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory and they had like just chocolate hanging off it? Yeah, chocolate tree. And it was a chocolate tree itself so you could eat the tree as well if you wanted to, if you were a sadist. Yeah. Or, you know, weren't bothered, well, weren't bothered about diabetes or something. Ah, oh, if it could be any tree, ah, oh, opens up a world. I'd be a money tree, but real money, not the money trees that are called money trees, but grow no money, <laughs> not those fake money trees. I'd be a real money tree, but just to be really annoying, I only grow pennies, <laughs> so, so I grow money, but just not a lot. Just change, yeah. That's fine though, because people always want change. Yeah, and my my the tree would be called just change, just change. Maybe not pennies though, because I don't think people want pennies anymore. Maybe like. 20p's or 10p's yeah because you can use those for like cash machines and vending machines and yeah which you can't use pennies parking for machines the only thing you use a penny for is actually no one uses a penny anymore because if you want to flip a coin you'd still probably flick something like a 2p the only, silver. S- the only thing I see that uses pennies anymore are the tiddlywinks no oh. <laughs> uh, when you go sometimes go to a museum 
you can put a penny in it will squash the penny for you oh yeah to make a pattern but you have to put the penny in and a pound so they have to destroy oh, the penny actually you know what um what actually does accept pennies because it's um non-discriminatory charity boxes yes they, you they have any no coin in that, yeah. and it will accept it it doesn't throw it back out or you call you cheap it just accepts it i put applesauce in there sometimes it will take that now the people who are collecting the coins probably aren't too happy about it, but the, they do the, try and stop the, me. The charity box will just accept. Yeah, it just takes apple it. sauce. I think it won't accept stuff like that's bigger than coin size, though. Anything that can be mooshed, it's fine. Yeah. It will take it. You can put fruit in there if you wanted to. <laughs> the end of a fruit. <laughs> apple sauce and fruits. Ooh, <laughs> actually, you know what? I wouldn't mind because it would be like just putting like like a syrup or a toffee sauce in a yogurt, an apple sauce and fruit. Yeah. That sounds good. I bet you know. I bet they do one. I bet they do one. Apple sauce and fruit. Yeah. Have you ever had the apple pies from McDonald's? No, I've only ever heard bad things though. See, I've never had one, but I really just wanted to try one one day. Apparently, they're just burning hot and yeah. not very nice. And then when they, they go from hot to cold, cold so quickly, that like, oh, I miss my window. It's now oh. a rock solid thing. Maybe we should go buy one. I've heard they're quite crispy. But again, I think while they're hot, yeah. Once then, again, I think you get them. They're red hot and crispy. Three seconds later, they're cold and soft. No, apparently they retain the heat for too uh, long. So you think three seconds is enough. So you wait five minutes. Again, too long. So you wait 20 minutes and now it's just gone cold. All of a sudden, you're like, what? If you've gone from waiting five minutes to 20 minutes, you, you yeah, haven't, you haven't just, gone. Well, you know, right, that was an exaggeration. So the next logical step in time. You wait, but you know what? I gave it five minutes and it was still hot. So I just left it okay, at 15. You waited five minutes and then you waited five minutes, 10 seconds. And in okay. that 10 seconds, it's turned stone cold, yeah. stone cold sober. Stone Cold Silver. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, he likes his, he likes to smash his stuff together. He does. So you have to get you have to get your apple and just smash it. <laughs> Stone Cold. Yeah, so you could add yogurt into that, cool it down, or you could dip it into yogurt, which is cold. No, because that's just going to make the outside the the the, the inside still going to be boiling hot. So you're going to have a really cold mouth, and then you're going to get burnt with hot apple. Break it in half. Okay. So now the inside is exposed. Yeah. Dip it in yogurt, so the cold touches the warm. But because you're going to be eating it straight away, almost the um, it won't go it won't go soggy. Do you reckon if you have been attacked <laughs> <laughs> and you happen to have a McDonald's apple pie fresh, yeah. so it hasn't gone cold yet? Yeah, super hot. You it's could less than five minutes. You could bite one end off and bite the other end off, and then blow through it and, and shoot hot apple sauce at somebody. I think you still got the risk of burning your lips mm. because if you get on your back. <laughs> have apple sauce even just on your lips or your tongue you're going to burn yourself See, it's it's like when you see people in films have blow darts and they suck in too hard and then they end up knocking themselves out same situation if you don't get your breathing technique correct before you apply the blowout you're done I also think it's a lot like if you know you're about to get into a fight and you're like hold on and you bite the ends of your I think it's so confusing to the person they wouldn't even question you so you, it would actually be really good yeah Maybe they just think you've you, you got low sugar levels or something, so you're trying to yeah. get your sugar levels back up. Next oh, thing okay, I don't mind fighting you, but apple sauce. we both have to take our supplement of choice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. So some, he, he'll take like some protein powder or whatever, <laughs> and you just start biting the ends of your... And he's like, look at this chump. He's going to get hopped up on sugar. He's been gassed in two minutes. Oh, how you thought that take famously protein powder <laughs> kicks in straight away. Well, I was going to say steroids or something. <laughs> But again, they don't. They're too slow. Like, like, what's what's quick and powerful? <laughs> what would you need as an energy burst to beat someone up? Gummy there, <laughs> Haribo. Yeah, because then you're just as hot as the person who's got his apple pie. <laughs> so it's just, it's one guy's eating Haribo, and this guy's eating apple pie. Someone walks past. Yeah, that, 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 no, we're about to have a fight, bro. Fight's about to kick off. So I wouldn't know. <laughs> Is someone just scooping protein powder <laughs> into their mouth? I was thinking more of the fact that they would assume it's going to look intimidating. Okay, yeah. <laughs> they get a dry mouth as well. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I mean. If you can handle protein powder on its own, you look, you, you appear it intimidating. Maybe the apple, apple pie guy might just run away scared. <laughs> yeah, I get that. But I do think that's... You could even do bite one side off and you, when you put it in your hand, you, you slam it and so the sauce shoots out. I think the problem is there's a good chance that it's just going to squish into your hand. Possibly, but it also comes in a packet that is closed at one end. Hmm. So, if you, I mean, you could just make sure it stays in there. Yeah, you might get a bit of squeezing out, but there's a, there's like layers between you and 
like and and the natural sauciness. And if you've bitten the other end off, obviously it's going to want to try to travel forward. Yeah, that's fair. And then yeah. I'm just thinking over long distances. You know, like if you've got two, hit them while they're on the run. They get ah, oh, and they're still stumbling forward. Then hit them again with the second with the, with the, with the blow one. You know, double tap. No one's getting past that attack. <laughs> Not even protein powder man. <laughs> Not even protein powder or Haribo boy. <laughs> there is nothing. You name one thing. That could either one help you defend against. Oh, oh yeah, one thing actually. There's only one defense against that. Cover yourself in yogurt. That's the only thing that will defend yourself against it. Other than that, you got no chance. So you're saying you should just anytime you get into a fight, yogurt up. You got to carry your yogurt on you all the time. If you're going in a shady neighborhood, carry some yogurt. And if that they don't have sense. apple pies and they've got like guns and weapons, stay in your yogurt. They'll get creeped out. Why is this guy in a yogurt just before he's about to start a fight? They ain't going to mess with you. Who messes with a crazy guy in a yoghurt before a fight? <laughs> There's only one person who thinks that's worth fighting. Apple pie boy. <laughs> and you're fine. Yeah, exactly. You're safe against yeah, him. Yeah, they don't even know that. They don't know the trick of the trade. I'm glad we answered that question. <laughs> that wasn't a question. Well, it was technically a question, just not the original question. Yeah. What was the original question? What About trees, trees. would it be? Yeah. So to answer that, yoghurt. <laughs> You'll be a yoghurt tree? No, just be a yoghurt. Oh. No, you can... <laughs> won't it be a yogurt tree ooh won't you be a yogurt tree and I'll be an apple pie tree ooh. then we've we've covered both bases as a team if we're in ever, ever like a, a tag team <laughs> no one's going to be able to beat us and if I accidentally get some apple pie on you doesn't matter you got yogurt yeah and obviously I'm not going to get it on me because I'm apple pie yeah no, that makes sense yeah it makes sense it'll be an apple pie tree easy you're a yogurt tree I'm a yogurt tree any particular yogurt I think you'd have to go for something like a Greek yogurt, because otherwise you're just gonna if you go, go like a muller corner, it's gonna get too sticky. Yeah, I also think you just get like bored of that. Because with, with a Greek yogurt, you also can flavour it up if you're feeling a bit saucy one day. Yeah. Also, I reckon a Greek yogurt mixed with apple pie is actually quite nice. Yeah. And you know, if we're ever hungry and we're not, we're not in the about to start a fight. Apple pies and Greek yogurt, and also you want quite a thick yogurt to coat yourself in. If you went for a runny yogurt, it's yeah. going to run off. So you'd need like a thick Greek yogurt to. Yeah, and I think a fruit viscous. is quite runny as well. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Tree boys, do it again. Yeah, I think we've got time for a second. Yeah, we can squeeze a little bit in. Yeah, we're changing our pattern this year. We're going to be. We're going to be. Well, you know, we'll ask it, but I don't. We might not come to a conclusive answer because we are running near our our uh, quote light time. our allotted time for uh, our. Uh, it's because you asked another question. I know. I'm sorry. Right, go for it. We can do this. Uh, what would you paint? Actually, no, you ask it because I answered the other one. <laughs> we both answered the other one, but yeah. Uh, no, I, you, I asked the other one. But you said answered. Uh, well, you, they know what I meant. <laughs> Nobody knows what we mean. <laughs> Doesn't know what listens. <laughs> Some people listen. Let's don't ask us questions. <laughs> what would you paint on your first day if you were an artist? Moon Lisa. Done. Easy. I can't, it's copyrighted, you'd be copyrighted. So I'd, I'd face it the other way or something, and no, change it and no. Why don't you just paint a different woman? Because no one no one cares, no one cares. Look at the girl in the pearl earring, no one cares, is it Mona Lisa? No, no one cares. Why not Scream? Well, they've remade that, so I think that's going to be too... Yeah, but it's now relevant. Yeah, but it's not, I think art needs to be, it needs to be, it needs to happen at the right time, and I think because the Scream remake's just come out, Okay, they're gonna, people are going to get confused. Yeah. They're going to go to watch Scream and it's just going to be a painting on the wall. Yeah. Man, when's the uh, yeah, exactly. Clock Clock's coming yeah. out? And I think it's, it's going to throw people right off. Yeah. They'll probably be more, they'll probably put bad uh, juju on it as well. Yeah. Um, see, I don't think it really matters. Well, actually, it depends. What, what makes you an artist? Surely anyone's an artist if they want to just call them an artist. So, like, I've done, I've done a bit of art. Does that make me an artist? Well, no, because you could you could argue the same thing about being a bus driver. If I say I'm a bus driver, I'm a bus driver. No, what makes you know, me a bus driver? You having, drive a bus. I drove a bus. Yeah, so you could do a bit of art and say you're an artist. That's exactly what. Well, no, because I have to I have to meet criteria to be a bus driver. I have to. No, get my yeah, so what, this is what I'm saying. What's the criteria to art be an license? Artist? There's no art license. There is. Where do you get it from? Well, you can't, they can't know. That's the problem. Windsor Castle. You need to start making art, and yeah. then when. Do you reckon when you manage to sell a piece of art? Hmm. No, because I reckon there's, I reckon there's people out there who just print things and sell it, and that doesn't make them an artist. 
No, but I mean when you sell a piece of your own art with your name on it. Because no one wants to buy it if it's got a name on it and it's just like, oh, chunky boy Chez. <laughs> I love Chez's art. Yeah, that's the point. He was never famous. But now, you know, people love his art. That's what I'm saying. Is it when you sell a piece of your own art with your name on it? Well, no, because a lot of artists don't have any success until they die. Also, musicians are considered artists. So if they paint a random picture, does that then still... Like... Yeah, I think there's quite a few art, um, musical artists who draw and paint as well. So it's just any art form yeah. that could paint. So, so. so so it doesn't actually matter if you paint something. You could just be a musician. Yeah, but that's not the question. The question is, on our first day of painting... No, it says, what would you paint on your first day? If you were an artist, you could oh, okay. be a musician. Okay. Well, just... Yeah, but the, the, the question still applies. What would you paint? So it doesn't matter as long as you do an art form. Yeah. Okay, so even if you play the guitar badly, does that make you an artist? It doesn't say you have to be a good artist. Mm. I want to paint. I don't, I don't think it would... I think it's all about... How do you sell it? And everybody knows how you sell art. Mona Lisa. You've got, no, you got to be famous first, or you're dead. And I, you know, I live quite a while, so I'm going to have to kind of learn to play a musician. Or you just paint a better version of something that's already famous. So, like, like I'll do the sequel to Mona Lisa. <laughs> See, okay, fair enough, that's cool, but you've picked a really hard challenge there. What? Because you've picked something that is so flawless to do, do it again. And I'm, did, a, a sequel's always better. Mm, not always. No, a lot of the time, never. Yeah, <laughs> there's only there's only there's only like one or two sequels. But do there. people always go to see a sequel? Yeah, but once a few people review it, a lot of the does time it, it doesn't get any better. It doesn't matter. Look at Ghostbusters; uh, they rebooted Ghostbusters. It's not better than the original, but people still went to see it. Have you I'll... seen the Afterlife one? No, not yet. Uh, apparently, it's okay, you know. Yeah, um, so I might I might attempt to. I'm going to reboot an old piece of art, and I'm going to be better. But it's going to be... It's what would you call it? Mona Lisa 2.0 or 2? Well, what? yeah, using Mona Lisa as an example. I might, you know that Bendy Clocks one? I might do Bendy Clocks. Oh, uh, what's his name? That's going to annoy me now. Wasn't it Salvador Dali? Yeah. Um, but what would you call it? Like Mona Lisa 2? Yeah, just literally. Because that's what they do with Ghostbusters. It was just, it's just a reboot. It's Ghostbusters. Yeah, but I just thought you'd do something a little bit better. Well, no, because if you start changing it, then is, is it a reboot anymore? No, because it's a different piece of art. No, because it's paying, reboots... paying ho- homage to it, but it's not a full reboot. It's not the sequel. Yeah, fair enough. So I'll take an a, a already successful piece of art and just do a, a sequel or a reboot of it. I haven't got to worry about it being as good or better because they never are. But people will pay to see it or experience it yeah. because it's the next one. I'll probably just do like a paint by numbers then. <laughs> yeah, but then you haven't got. You, this is you need you, haven't, you need to target the heritage of something original. Yeah. What? Painting by numbers. Okay, yeah, yeah. But I could do a paint by numbers of the Mona Lisa, and I would call it Mona Lisa P B N. Okay, Mona Lisa. But then I think you just you just you paint homage to homage whatever the word is to that piece. You're not people don't care. Like, well, people don't care about your Mona Lisa too. They will though, because as I say, it's like it's like the reboot of Ghostbusters. <laughs> it's just going to be bad. It's going to be rubbish, but. People will be like, oh, I, used to, I liked Ghostbusters the first time around. I'll go look at this one. And everyone's going to watch it and be like, that was rubbish. Like, I know it is. But... You know what? I'd probably go around painting other artists, as in the actual artist. Okay. Not a picture of them. I would paint them, their oh, face. Okay, actually like paint. Like face painting. Let's face paint their face. That's so funny. when they go, oh, on my first day of being an artist, I'd painted an artist. Oh, who, who, who would you paint? I don't know any artists. <laughs> Not alive. I was going to say. <laughs> oh, I'd paint Banksy. Yeah, I'll find him first. Exactly. So if I manage to paint Banksy, how cool would that be? What you should do is find out where Banksy lives. Graffiti his house. Instance. That would sell. Maybe I'll do like a, a paint prank. So I paint his house, but when it rains, it just washes off. Nah, I think I think there's so much irony in graffiti in Banksy's house. Yeah, but his graffiti is meant to mean something, isn't it? And it's, it's all... Remember that um, piece of art he sold? And then he had a, he didn't it's store shredded. the shredder yeah, just yeah. under it, so it shredded it. I'd rather do something like that. Go with the balloon, but I paint his house, and when it rains, the whole house falls down. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> the, the house just like melts away. Yeah, and he's just there in his bathtub, like <laughs> spills a glass of water, gets a hole in the floor. Yeah, that's a that's a that's. A, I mean, how are you going to do that without, him, that without him noticing that his, his house has been re- rebuilt into a soluble material? Um. 
Well, he doesn't do a lot of art, does he? He's well, off the grid a lot of the time. We, we don't know. We, we only know the ones that people... He could have loads of ones that people haven't... he's just got a regular job? <laughs> I reckon he just works at... Um... Like, c- c- Costco. Yeah. <laughs> Not even a Costco, like a Lundis or something. <laughs> <laughs> just the one down the road. Yeah. You know what? A Nisa. Nisa local. How do people pay him? Do you reckon he just gets money transferred to an account in Zurich? Um, it's a good question. I suppose I should, yeah, he must have a re- like a representative. What if he is his own representative, but everyone thinks they're speaking to his representative and it's Ooh, actually him? Oh, what a bluff! Nah, because he'd, he'd just smell, smell like spray paint all the time. <laughs> Why do you smell like? I was, I was just with him a second ago. Yeah, just, Why are your hands covered? Oh, I was. I was uh, <laughs> just run away. Yeah. Well, Banksy isn't one person, and it's a collection of people. Nah, we found out too easily. Why? Maybe it's just a bunch of chaps. Maybe. How long has Banksy been about? I don't know. 30 years? Nah, I reckon he... I think it's a bunch of people, but it's just like a lineage. You, tra- you teach your trade, you do you tra- your craft. You do 10 years, you pass on the Banksy knowledge. So Banksy's more a... A, a symbol. Figure, yeah, sim- a symbolic yeah. sort of artist. Maybe. But that's the first thing I would do is find out where Banksy lived and spray paint his house. Yeah. I'd I think- spray paint a big old rubber ducky in a sandwich. Nah. I'm Don't really... say nah. That's I'm, what I'm doing. Nah, I'm not really good with bread. <laughs> the, if it's a rubber duck. I'll do the rubber duck. Yeah. I'm wicked with rubber ducks. Can you help me with the bread? Yeah. Because like we just said, Banksy's a collective. So we could do this together. Half the time as well. Yeah, but I'm not saying I'm Banksy. I just like the um, the symbolism of spray painting Banksy's house. Graffiti in his house. Yeah, but you also said how I'm going to do it without him noticing. I'm going to have a team. No, but that was when you were changing his house for a house built with soluble material. I might still do that, but I, I may have overstepped what I've done. Well I also don't know how I'm going to do that, so, yeah. you know, I just got excited, all right? It's a big commitment. I got excited. I think I'd paint his house. Yeah. With a rubber duck in a sandwich. Yeah. In a sandwich? Yeah. Okay. That's curious, because I'm doing the rubber duck eating a sandwich, so next to it is going to be the rubber duck in a sandwich. Oh, no. Oh, where? Or is it a rubber duck in a sandwich eating a sandwich? A rubber duck? Eating a sandwich with a rubber duck in. Which is also a symbol of us spray painting Banksy's house. Which because, is, it's like the rubber yeah, duck eating yeah. a sandwich. Yeah? So he's the rubber duck in the sandwich and we're the new rubber duck eating the sandwich of yeah. the old rubber duck because we are taking over. Exactly. Oh man, sorted yeah. That's what I'm doing. Spray, paint, spray painting that. With my best bird. Hello. Do you know where we can get spray paint from? <laughs> Nisa. Oh, you know what? I've just thought about something that we're not going to be able to handle. We have no hands. Yeah, but we can just l- put the can on the floor and lean on it. <laughs> we are going to have to start learning how to do this. Because otherwise it's just going to be a blob of yellow. <laughs> What's it meant to be? It's clearly a rubber duck. That isn't... <laughs> He's going to come out and go, someone spit with some paint on the side of my house. Stencils. Oh, I mean, he must use stencils. Because he does it pretty rapid. So I'm thinking, if we get stencils made, then when we just lean on it, it will just... Yeah, it'll do it itself. Yeah? yeah? Oh, we can sort it. Oh man, this is so symbolic. Yeah, easy. Once we do that, famous. We'll be famous. Someone will try to buy that piece of art off his house. You know what? He'll probably try to claim it as his own work, so we'll have to sign it. Yeah. Oh no, because then we don't want people to. Do we want people to know who we are? Are we going full Banksy? Yeah, we'll just come with like. I was going to say, we'll just come up with a whimsical name and we change like Banksy to Wanksy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to work? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> we can't like put WW because everybody knows what WW is yeah. across the universe. Wonder Woman. Yep. Mm. Mm. And Wormsy's too obvious. Yeah. Banksy 2. The yes. sequel. Because then it goes on the whole thing that you said. Yeah. Banksy 2. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Banksy 2. Yeah. We've got to get a title of the podcast already. Banksy 2, the sequel. Easy. Oh, it's got to be that. Yeah. What's the other thing? Oh, Trees. Trees. Mm, is it going to be Banksy 2? Maybe. The sequel. That's or... a problem for our time, not their time. <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. Yeah, sorry. Unless you want to have some input. We're getting you into the behind the scenes now of the, the written we discussions like we have on name yeah. each episode. <laughs> I think you'd like to see what goes on when no one's around. We don't know what goes on, so it's nice for someone yeah, to include it's... us. <laughs> I do get confused a lot. I do look into space a lot, but that's because... You always face me near the window. Helps you think. It clears my mind. Exactly. Otherwise, I'm thinking, where's he put those banana skins? Might slip on them. <laughs> oh my God. It's your ploy to get me to stop thinking. It is. 
Right. I don't think at the best of times, but... We'll let them go to bed now. It's getting late. Okay. Go uh, cuddle your cow pillow. And don't don't eat any sandwiches without looking in them first. I thought he was going to say don't eat yellow snow. That's also wise advice. Yeah, don't eat yellow snow and don't eat sandwiches without looking in them first. Yeah. Other than that, have a great day. <laughs> Worm out. Bye-bye.